Yo, my name is Benjamin and in this video I'll cover a framer update that adds support for multi-stop gradients as well as conic gradients. Now I know, I know, it took us a little while to ship this but we're super excited to finally have this available in Framer. So let me quickly walk you through our new gradient tools. We've redesigned our fill UI with icons representing each fill type. And for each gradient, you also get an inline editor. We could add new color stops anywhere here within the fill editor or directly on the canvas, where we also get a nice little preview of the percentage of our color stop. I'll click to add a new stop right here in the center. And let's give this a different tint. And there we go. We've just created our very first multi-stop gradient in Framer. And we can simply click and drag this point anywhere we'd like. And we've also added support for shift dragging this in increments of 5%, which is very useful for creating evenly distributed gradients. We can also do this with the start and end points that we could drag inwards or outwards, giving you much more creative control than before. To rotate linear gradients, move your cursor just outside of the start or end point and holding shift will snap to 45 degree increments. So that's it for linear gradients. We have a redesigned fill interface with a new gradient editor, support for infinite freeform color stops, and an intuitive snapping experience. And all of these new features also apply to radial gradients. Here we can simply select the center point to move the radial gradient anywhere. The outer points here can still be used to resize a radial gradient. And the line in the middle here allows you to add and move color stops just like you would with linear gradients. And finally, we're adding support for conic gradients in Framer. So let me bring up the editor and show you how it works. I can click and drag the center point here to move my conic gradient anywhere within my layer. And placing my cursor just outside of that center point allows me to change the angle. This also works when placing my cursor just outside of the circle. And I can click anywhere on the circle to add new color stops. So I'll go ahead and add a few new color stops to this gradient. And then I'll select each of them to assign a color style. And yes, this means that all gradients support theming. And with all colors updated, I'll select each new point on the canvas and I'll shift drag to create an evenly distributed conic gradient. And here we can also hold shift while rotating to snap to 45 degree increments. And that's pretty much all you need to know about the new gradient updates in Framer. Thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for more updates coming soon.